and welcome to my latest Miss Hubnut video. Today we're in a rather blustery Abreiron. Croeso y Abreiron. Mein Gwintog heddiw. It is windy today, but at least the rain is not pouring. So Abreiron is a Regency town. It's been here really as a settlement since about 1807. We'll go into some of that history a bit later on. It's a lovely place for um, great cuisine. There are some really high-end restaurants here and also fabulous for ice cream. So you'll have to forgive us if we don't get cake today, but we will definitely get ice cream. So this is the Abereyron Harbour. Um, the harbour was expanded in 1807 thanks to a special act of parliament and it supported the local shipbuilding. And it was very busy until the 1920s, um, but now it tends to be leisure boats and the odd fishing boat that comes in. So behind me is Abereyron Bridge. That's not the original bridge. The original bridge was actually destroyed in the 1890s. And to overcome the problem of getting over the harbour, because as we've just seen for ourselves, a bit of a trot round the harbour, to overcome the problem of the bridge having been destroyed, they created a hand-powered cable car across the harbour just over there in 1899 and it lived until another bridge was built. Now, after it was called the Aeron Express. After a while the Aeron Express was made redundant by the creation of a bridge, but it was reinstated in 1988 and it went until 1994 when, sadly, health and safety got involved. So I was actually lucky enough to go over this contraption and it was a tiny little cart that on a, on a string, I'm sure it was more significant than a string, that went across the harbour and you were pulled across. It was amazing. It's a real shame that that's not here anymore. But the good thing about these videos is that I can keep the memory of these little things that make these villages and towns so unique. So here we are outside a little gem that we discovered the other day called Naturally Scrumptious. It's a cafe and a deli and they do wonderful lunches. You know when you eat something and you can't stop thinking about it? I had the chicken liver pate and it was like a parfait and it was absolutely beautiful. So I would highly recommend coming here. As well as the lunches, they also do cakes and Ian spotted the sausage rolls, which he said looked absolutely fantastic. So a brilliant little lunch spot just here. So you join us on a rather blustery day in the marquee of Truly Scrumptious. Now, I just wanted to share this lunch because it is absolutely superb. I've got a chicken liver pate with what is a caramelized onion dip then little garlic bruschettas, couscous and coleslaw. It is absolutely divine, that, that is really smooth, that pate. And then you've got a chicken, leek, was there a veg? And ham. And ham pie, which just looks awesome. That's a really good pastry. Actual salad. Actual salad, are you going to eat actual salad? Mm -hmm. Eh, sorry? You're going to eat actual salad. I'm not promising anything <laughs> on camera. But yeah, another lovely place to visit here in Abare Run. Well, of course, being a Miss Hubnut video, we had to have cake. So I've gone for a treacle tart that looks absolutely perfect. Uh, it's an old British classic where you have the syrup and the breadcrumbs and lemon and, and they're in a pastry case. Oh, it's a pudding you don't see very much anymore, but absolutely lovely. And then Mr Hubnut, who is most upset, I dragged him away from this cupcake, which has raspberry and buttercream on the top. I think he's going to... Uh, you get an extreme close up on the cupcake. Mm, mm. <laughs> So we're going to enjoy our cakes now. So welcome to Alban Square. Now why have we brought you to Alban Square? I mentioned that Abereyron is a Regency style town that was planned and it's actually one of the few planned towns in Wales and one of the best. So the Reverend Alban Thomas Gwynne Jones, as I say, sought to expand the harbour here in 1805 and he got a special act of parliament. So from 1807 Abereyron began to grow but it grew in a very, very planned fashion. Um, it takes the Regency style, and there was an architect brought from Shrewsbury, Edward Laycock, who designed Abereyron. The townhouses are all beautifully multicoloured, which is, um, bless, if you've got small children, although they're probably not that small anymore of a certain age, they will compare it to Balamori because there are definite similarities. But yes, this is where Abereyron came from. Some of the early settlements in Abereyron were actually washed into the sea. They were on the north side of the harbour and they were lost to the sea. Now I say that this is the earliest settlement in Abereyron, but there is a thought that there was a fortification here which was established in 1148. But I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. 
Oh, and right now, we're going to go get some ice cream. Okay. So here we are outside of Angelato's, and this is a newcomer to Aberaeron. It was until recently known as Llanon House, and when they were putting up new signage, I think they found about five different historic signages, which they put onto one of the local websites. So it's worth a look to have a look at all that old artwork. They do something here, which I know is massive elsewhere, which is bubble waffle ice creams. And we're ever so pleased that they've made it here. So we're gonna go over and just sample the delights of Angelato's. So we've but just been to Angelato's. Um, we were supposed to just buy a waffle cone, but they do the most amazing milkshakes there. It's got um, local Guarfanon, I think the farm is called, milk. And you can choose any flavour of gelato and have it in your uh, milkshake. So that one's actually for Ian, because he loves strawberries and cream. And here we have a salted caramel bubble waffle. If you've not had a bubble waffle before, and this one's warm, it's literally just come out of the press. They are kind of like a very soft, light waffle. And slightly like a cone, because there's a crisp to them. This one's got honeycomb pieces. Oh, and they have a chocolate fountain in there. So just about everything gets chocolate poured all over it um, and lots and lots of whipped cream and honeycomb pieces in this one. So let's have a little taste. Mm. A little bubble of the waffle. Oh, that's perfect. That is delicious. <clears throat> So Aberaeron is home to lots of events and one of the big events which is just outside Aberaeron is the Welsh Cob and Pony Festival and this, po this poster, this statue is here to commemorate the Welsh Cob. As well as the Welsh Cob and Pony Festival there is also a seafood festival on the harbour and there is a carnival. Sadly, due to the current times, Aberaeron Carnival won't be going ahead in 2021 but hopefully it will be back in full effect in 2022. So here we are on the footpath to Llanacheron. Llanacheron is our local National Trust uh, property. We went there with the car club not long ago, Cardigan Card Club. It's got a lovely cafe, a Conti's cafe. Um, mentioning ice cream a lot in this video, but yep, ice cream is one of their things. I used to bring the kids along here a lot when they were children because this is a flat footpath. It runs about three miles to Llanacheron. It's flat. And the other lovely thing about it is fairy doors. So if you've got young children, they can spot the fairy doors in the tree. Can you spot a fairy door? Oh yes. Anybody at home? Yeah. No. No tell with tag, no, none of the fairy folk today. So the reason we're bringing you along here is that I, obviously I'm doing these videos and I'm learning about my local area. And I didn't realize that the Lamp to Aberaeron and Newquay Light Railway Company actually did establish a railway and it ran as far as Aberaeron. Now I believe there were three stops on the way to Aberaeron. There was Llanacheron, there was Aboneiron, and there was Aberaeron. Aberaeron station is no longer there. We believe it's under Jusons. Seems to be the general consensus is that it's underneath Jusons. Now, the train line was established in 1911 here. On the day of its opening, all the local children gathered at the station and they all got a ride to Vellinvach, which is a few miles in that direction. Must have been amazing. Um, during World War II, evacuees were brought in by train. I can't imagine how long those children must have been on those trains and how frightened they must have been. But it's a beautiful place to be, Aberaeron. So different to where they must have come from. So the trains ran with passengers until 1951, 40 years, but the trains actually came in with freight until 1965. They actually came to Vellinvach, which is up the road, which is big in dairy production, until 1973. So what passengers would have done is they would have joined the main line Aberystwyth to Carmarthen, and then at Lampeter they would have changed and joined the light railway down to Aberaeron. Now there are signs of the railway at Llanacheron, we don't want to talk too much about Llanacheron today because I'm sure there's a video that we could do about there. But you can see some of the huts and so on up there. But here in Aberaeron, there's not actually much, um, many signs left of the railway. We are pondering whether this path was the railway line or if it was on the other side of the river. We're not quite sure because, as I say, I thought that the Newquay Aberaeron Lampeter Light Railway didn't come into being, but apparently it did. So where does the name Aberaeron come from? I'm not convinced this is the Aeron River, but the name Aberaeron comes from Aber meaning mouth, like Aberystwyth, 
and Eiron meaning Eiron River. Now the Eir prefix of that name is actually ancient Welsh and it means slaughter which is lovely um, and it's believed to relate to a Welsh god of war. So that's where Aber Eiron comes from and I did mention talking about ancient Welsh that there may have been a settlement here before the existing settlement. So in 1148 a fortification of some description was established and this fortification, I'm not sure if it was wooden, Motton Bailey or what, but there were signs of this fortification into the 19th century and even a brief mention of it on Noah's map in the 1960s. It was known as Castell Cadugan. Now the Cadugan that I know of historically actually died in 1111 so I'm not sure if the timeline is slightly squiff or if we're talking about a different Cadugan. Now Cadugan and his family are some interesting stories and I will share some of those with you. But yes, Castell Cadugan was thought to be the first settlement fortification here in Abereiron. So the first settlement or fortification in Abereiron was known as Castell Cadugan. Now the Cadugan that I know of actually died in 1111 and they believe the settlement was established in 1148. Now in Wales, the history is very complicated and very fiery and a constant battle for power. But an easy way of helping yourself out with Welsh history is the word ap, A-P. It means son of. So the Cadugan that I'm thinking of was Cadugan ap Blethyn because he was the son of Blethyn ap Cynthyn. Now Cadugan ap Blethyn, his son became Owain ap Cadugan. Owain Cadugan ap Blethyn was somebody who really fought for power. He was the son of a, a, king, a prince up in North Wales. He married a Norman woman in order to gain power and relationships with the Normans. Then he decided to turn on the Normans. Now his undoing, unfortunately, was his son, Owain Ap Cadugan. But Owain Ap Cadugan's story is a really good one, but it lays in Pembrokeshire, so I won't share that one with you just yet. But when Owain Ap Cadugan did what he did, his father lost all his lands. But his father managed to talk to the uh, Normans and get himself back in favour with the king and was allowed to have one land back for a fine of £100. He was given Ceredigion, where we are now. So here we are outside the cellar, which is a fine dining uh, venue here in Aberreiron. They do tapas, they do all kinds of lovely things and they've won massive accolades, which is wonderful for a, a restaurant in a small town like Aberreiron. As well as this, just over the harbour, we have the Hive. Now the interesting thing about the Hive, it was called the Hive because upstairs used to be a bee museum and they did have a hive of bees that lived up there. But the interesting linguistic thing about the Hive is it's called a Cuch Gwenin, which means the Hive, but Cuch is the Welsh word for boat. So is it a bee boat? Is a Hive a bee boat? As well as these two, there is also the Harbour Master, which has always been highly praised um, for fine dining, lots of lovely fish dishes and things. So for a small town, it's really good for if you want to come out for a meal. So here we are at the Hive and this place is famous and I mean really famous for its honey ice cream and it is one of my favourite foods in the whole world. It's unfortunate I've eaten another ice cream but I am going to eat one of these as well, you know, just to share with you and demonstrate. And I notice a certain person is panning to the ice cream van. Do you want to talk to us about the ice cream van? Uh, it's a transit. It's a transit. <laughs> that your input, is it? Yeah. Lovely. So we're just going to go get an ice cream from the Hive. So here we are with my honey ice cream. I absolutely love whippy ice cream, but this isn't just whippy, this is special. This has got local honey in it. And also I've got one of those elusive creatures, the flake, because there seems to be a world shortage at the moment. And this is vanilla honey. They do different flavors, strawberry honey, chocolate honey, um, hazelnut honey, and they are absolutely delicious. Our time in Aberaeron is coming to a close as the weather is becoming decidedly Welsh and the rain is about to descend. Rain in Welsh is glau, buru glau, it's raining. So, I love Aberaeron. It's a place that's got lots of memories for me. On the harbour here, you can actually do crabbing, um, which is a great way to spend a few hours trying to catch the poor old crabs. As well as that, we used to grab a rotisserie chicken and a baguette from the, the Pop Tea Bakery on the uh, square and bring those down here. We really had some wonderful times here. And it's not just us that recognises how lovely Aberaeron is. It's recently been voted one of the best UK seaside towns. I think it came up number four in the top ten. So that's amazing for a little place like Aberaeron. So if you're looking for lovely food, lovely ice cream, particularly the honey ice cream, and just a beautiful scenery, there are some lovely walks. You can walk along the Aeron this way, 
or you can walk to Llanacheron. The walk to Llanacheron is exceptional and there's a cafe at the end of it, which is always a bonus. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I think our next town may be Devil's Bridge, but I'm not quite sure. Thank you very much. Bye. Fel eich gallu gweld, mae'n wyntog a mae'n bwrw glaw heddiw. It is windy and it is raining. We are showing you the true Welsh weather today.